to be and embrace my fears really how precious that grace of the hour we first believe so we want to keep it safe for everybody that way, if a piece of something falls off of a Honda or Kawasaki, <laughs> all you last night didn't even yeah. get hugged. How are you, brother? Good. Glad you're here, here, man. Today is the sixth annual Tribute to the Troops motorcycle ride. Once a year, we get on our motorcycles and we go to the homes of fallen heroes in the state of Minnesota. And what we're doing is trying to honor people who have lost heroes in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's not political, there's no pro-war, no anti-war. Doesn't matter about your socioeconomic background, your race, or your religion. It's just you lost your hero, and we're trying to show that somebody cares. But now I vast group of people you see that are on this trip, uh, they, they share two things, the love of motorcycles and the riding of motorcycles and the absolute highest regard and respect for our military, you know, regardless of what you see on TV or, or reading the newspaper, there are people out there that care and we're behind our American military 100% and we just want them to know that. Uh, yesterday we visited the Drevnik family in Woodbury and they, uh, they turned out a whole bunch of friends and relatives to see us and had, you know, the neighborhood was out there. And, you know, their son was, they were just lost their son in July. Um, and it was, it was very emotional for them, very powerful, and it was a very powerful visit for us also. Um, you know, those kind of memories, they'll just never fade. Private First Class Matthew G. Mozart, Kettle River. Daniel J. Otto, New Prague. Specialist William J. Malvin. Jonathan C. Yanni, Staff Sergeant Field. Andrew P. Nelson, Moorhead. To those wonderful families who've lost so much, if in some way we have brought something to you that is a fraction of what we get out of it, then I know that we did something right. Thank you all very much. This is the greatest thing I've ever been involved in. I'm proud and honored to be a part of it. I'm demonstrating notable patriotism, valor, and fidelity. Rocky Lynn is hereby appointed to the Honorary Office of Admiral of the Minnesota Militia and shall enjoy the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof from this day forward. work is done by the great people of Minnesota and these folks who come out and do the ride and I'm just proud to be whatever small part of it I am. <laughs>